in this video I show how to add background map and overlay an image in Amazon. So what you do is you go file new to start a new project or a new model. You need to add just some uh, project name. These options, I think you're probably going to do a micro model. So I would just tick all of these off. So you're not going to be bothered by these settings. So it will hide these. Here in the map settings, this is just basically to set up your area. So where your model is going to be. So just be aware it's not going to give you like this background map in the model. So what you need to do is the best probably to just get an import map from the internet because this way it will import some land use or buildings or roads, whatever you want basically from the OpenStreetMap data. And here, what you better to do is to set up um, your areas to zoom in so it will know what to import. Otherwise, it will not import anything because it would see the whole world basically. So better if you just go to the area what you want. It just, in this example, I just go to Brussels in the center um, yeah maybe let's have this park here in the middle and maybe that lake if you click ok it downloads the data you can see the counter ok now it brings up the importer the open street map importer I would just keep everything as it is. You can add some 3D data, some limits uh, to your map or the view, and um, this reserve data. I, I wouldn't worry about it. We're just going to use this, what it imports, as a starting point. We will uh, delete it later if you want. But just to be aware that here you can import roads as well. So in this, by default, it will import it as a network and import decoration. Just leave everything as it is. It will give you a good starting point. So you just need to basically later tweak the data, what it imports and don't do it like from scratch. At least you will have some data there. Okay, so leave it like that. Click OK. It reads the data in. So there you are. As you can see, this is the layer data there. So let's just quickly catch up on, on what is, is uh, how, the, how the windows work. So on the left, you have the network objects and the operators like slicing, adding new sections. Um, in name some sections are the links, basically the roads. You can uh, cut sections, um, you can just pen, you can zoom, you can create nodes, centroids, or zones. So centroids are zones basically. Transit stops and all the others. So those are located here on the left. <laughs> here in the top, you have the timer, um, simulation um, settings. You have viewing settings in these drop downs. And on the right, you have um, basically your the structure of your network and your model. So you have a window for project and a window for layers. You can move these along by clicking on that little um, icon there. And you can just put these on each other and then you can just switch between the two. Um, and here in the bottom, it just basically um, a log. It just gives you messages whenever there is a warning or error or or what it what happened basically, and and if we remember previous models, so if you don't close aim, if you don't close aim, so that um, you can see these back, uh, you can find data, about you did previously. So in the projects, you have the whole project structure. It cuts, it basically groups the data into like data analysis, demand data, infrastructure. And you can see that um, you can find basically going into one, what is what, where is where. So you can just locate your data. So basically this is your whole model setup. This is where you will have your matrices, <laughs> your roads, section types, views. So all the, the actual model setup is, is here in the project folder. So you will be able to reach everything, vehicle settings, vehicle classes, types, everything. 
in the layers let me just fold everything so you have a network you have some groupings it doesn't matter the open street map so this is basically what it imported so if i just tick it on and off you can switch everything on and off and as you see within that also you have uh, the data grouped into different bars like natural leisure and you can just tick these um, buildings railway highway and within the highway sorry within the highway you have like trunk roads primary secondary tertiary cycleway and so on so you can do all of these and let's have a look now what got imported so let me just tick everything back so you see basically the whole the whole network is here imported so you have sections already set up you have nodes already set up with the turns of course it is very rough but all the data is there so you can now just basically if you don't want the steps you can just delete them or you don't want the pedestrian stuff you can just delete them and the leisure or just untick them to clean it up so this is a good starting point <laughs> where you can, you know, you already have your uh, sections and nodes set up and you can just basically uh, fine tune and tweak it to make it to your liking or to whatever you want to model. You can just delete all the others and leave what you need and just update that. So you don't need to start from scratch. And assuming that you have, um, you want to overlay a map, unfortunately, you can't just import uh, an image and uh, scale it um, you can scale it i will show how to do it but it is not as straightforward as in Vizim that you just set a scale and that's it um, so let's do that what i do i just go here in google maps for the same area so let's say this is brussels central i have the same lake and the park so i make a screenshot I go to paint or you can do it in other one you just basically paste it and create um, an image file <laughs> okay you go back to Ameson you go file import and image file no you just need to select it And you just use the default settings here, click OK. It brings up your image. As you can see, there is um, the order is um, what is behind what. So if you click on it, it brings in front. But if you click somewhere else, it puts it to the background. You can always change these by, so if you click here in the Layers tab on anything, it will show you what level is it. And you can tick Allow Editing or not. So you can basically just lock it if you don't want to edit it uh, accidentally or to move it. Or you can also switch up visibility. So like it, it's, it's more like a GIS, more or less. So you can have a lot of settings here. And you can just increase the level higher up or lower if you want to bring it in or out from, uh, from the view. So uh, you just need to always check what is the level of, of other objects, um, like the road if you click on it it shows this level 20 um, so you can always just move these up and down and the hierarchy so l let's show the let's see the um, scaling so what you do is you just move this a little bit down so we are going to use that lake and this circle to scale so if you right click on it you go to properties here you have a basic and a positioner option. So these two are your options. <laughs> you can either use the physical size to uh, scale it. As you can see, this is like the width is um, 1.9 thousand meters and 1.1 thousand meters. This isn't very helpful. Um, I don't know why they do it this way, but it is the way it is. <laughs> so you can't really do it. Otherwise, 
if you import an image like this, you need to scale it. So you need to put like a scale from the top in the bottom as an overlay, like, you know, this is 500 meters. So you need to like cut it off. So it's quite complicated. So what you can do is you go to the positioner and here there are four uh, boxes here, 2T. So reference point one, two, image point one, two. So you need to select two points on the background here on this imported one that will be your reference and the image point one two so you need to click on the same points in the same order on the image so select this window then select let's say um, this point there and this middle of the circle with left click now i come back to the image i select the same like there and the middle of the circle there and now as you can see as i was clicking this was going down and now you click scale and translate now it moves it there so this is the way you can and click ok so now that image is overlaid and what you can do now is you can just start basically removing and hiding all this uh, data what you don't need that you don't need and also you can just click up the service road the residential path living street so all these not useful um, <clears throat> sections and then you have the main um, sections overlaid uh, of course you, if you need more you can just add these um, into your model so like residential roads yeah so this is the way of course you can see there is a little bit of rotational issue so you can maybe redo it more accurately so selecting maybe uh, when you do the <clears throat> these reference point maybe select a larger area so that will be it will be more accurate and there is one other way to do it i am not going to do it now uh, i will make another video later but you can add like a vms server that will give you basically uh, a background map overlay um, as you scroll in and out it will give you an overlaid map like in Visim, uh, you have like the bing maps or all those maps so yeah these are your options of course you can um, look at the settings as you import so you can remove these you don't uh, need to um, import these road networks and if you don't need to you can just import some buildings or some uh, other elements of the map um, that you can use to overlay maybe if you have another map source you want to use or if you want to overlay a cat image or, or whatever uh, or any other source basically because as you check here there are all kinds of um, options to import so um, yeah i hope you found it useful let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or ideas and uh, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe